Okay, first round. We do want to play first. Let's see. Black Lotus, Jace Bellerin. Yeah, I'll take it. And we're going to need to hit some lands here, but uh, I think we can. And uh, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, the problem is I don't have a red source for Ral or a blue source so I can Black Lotus and get Ral going. Um, because if I could get Ral going like immediately, that would be insane. Because uh, I could go for ultimate on him pretty easily. Um, so if I'm not going to do that, the question becomes, what do I want to do? And I think I just want to play Jace and start drawing cards. So let's do that. I mean, this kind of just makes this into like a reasonable draw as opposed to kind of a crappy one. Um, but whatever, I'll take it. Um, yeah, I'll just play a factory here because I'll probably end up just starting to attack with it next turn. I don't really have much else going on. If I draw one of my counter spells, I can play the island. Or I could just play Jushi. He's got his own island there. Grim Monolith. Grim Monolith is interesting. Um, I'll play Grim Monolith. Is that resolved? Do you have a four spike? You don't. All right, well. I will just play a Grim Monolith then. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but we'll find out soon. Looter. All right, well, you're going to draw a card here, buddy. Because I'm not going to kill my Jace this time. Vision. So I need to get that thing suspended. Um, yeah, that seems fine. I'll suspend Vision, and I'll play Jushi. No green mana yet, but uh, we're going to be way ahead on cards, and if I hit a red or a green mana, I'll be in decent shape. If I hit red, I'll just kill this thing. Um, and then down the line, of course, we're going to have a big setup, but I could use a counter spell here for sure just to uh, keep any brokenness from happening. Like A bad turn here could be he attacks with Looter Ilkor, he loots away a fatty and just reanimates it. Like We're not in great shape there. I mean, I can bounce... Actually, or actually, I just lied. We're in totally fine shape if he does that. Um, but not great. I mean, he gets to put it back in his graveyard or whatever and get value. So, Oh, but it's got a damage opponent. Nice. Go, Jace. Running the defense. Um, but we have a forest. We just need another one, and then we can cast Avenger and kind of go off. Um, frantic search. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. This is what we were afraid of. Don't have it. Don't do anything. Don't tap this. Just stay upright. No tapping. No tap that. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Because if he Trasodons, he gets to just blow up my board. Yeah, that's much better. That I can deal with. Um, don't know how how long I want to keep Jace around for necessarily here. Eh, yeah, I guess I'll keep him around for a turn. Goif. So I can Goif and still have Venser mana available. I still need to find a green mana source here, but Goyf is big. I could also just draw a card here. Yeah, I'll go Goyf. And then I get I and then I'll use Venser if I just absolutely have to. Um am I attacking with you, Jushi? One, three, no. No, I might even I, I want to re reserve the right to draw a card, and one damage isn't gonna make any difference here. Uh we're either getting there or we're not. This is the plan. Um, I'm not going to... I'm, I'm going to be pretty hard-pressed to tap my Grim Monolith, though, to actually draw a card here, because I do need it in case we hit green mana. All right, now he's going to attack me. Uh, all right. You did it. 
You're attacking me. I have been attacked. See what he gets rid of here. Okay, an island, so that's not a big deal. He must be digging for lands. And he found a land. What is he going to do, though? What will you do? He just pitched a land so my goif got bigger, too, so that's kind of sweet. I have a lot of sweet draws with swords. Just draw, like, sword and just hit him with it or whatever. That's pretty nice, too. I'm really worried about him reanimating, though. That's that's the concern. All right, he didn't do anything. Let's see if we can draw a forest here. Not yet. Finks. Can't cast it. Um... Draw a card? Alright. Go ahead. So we're basically in the same spot as last time, but we are at least creeping up towards this goal. And what does he have? Into the royal? Gifts. Gifts is fine. Oh, baby. Oh, man. No. All right, so he's just going to put these both in his yard, and then he's going to cast some type of reanimation spell, and we're going to be in a very awkward position. If he gets Sundering Titan, he gets to blow up my forest, and that's going to put us so far behind. I mean, we can still draw out of it potentially, but like it makes this and this just seem like a pipe dream. If we drew red, we could rouse Eric to use our forest twice or whatever, but let's just see what he plays. Corpse Dance. All right. Uh, he's going to play buyback with buyback. Re return the top creature of your graveyard, which is Angel, to the battlefield. That creature gains haste. Exile it. All right. So he's going to play it, and he's going to blow something up. Ugh, I might just need to pull the trigger on Venser here to get this thing off uh, the table. Well, just off of the system. Because, I mean, he's going to get to Angel of Despair. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to the tempo him here. All right, I'll put this thing back in his hand. And he doesn't get to do anything this turn, so that's nice. And I get to draw a card and then draw another card. Unfortunately, my monolith is tapped now, but I've built up my mana pretty nicely. He's going to attack Jace. That's fine. I'm still going to draw a card. Edric. Well, that's interesting. Uh, let's draw a card first. Counterspell. Very interesting. One, two, three. I can't quite, I don't have quite enough mana to equip or to activate, but I can swing with the team. He blocks this. I draw two more. How good is that? Pretty good. Not great. Edric. It, uh, he probably would have to hit Edric, though, with the uh, thing. Alright, well, if I'm not going to be able to activate Factory because I want to leave this thing up, then we'll do that. And I think I'm just going to swing with the team here, though. I mean, Jushi, how good do you get later on? What do you turn into again? Target player draws cards where X is a number of cards. I can make him, him or me draw 7 a turn or 8 a turn or whatever. If I just attack with Goyf, he just chumps. If I attack with everything, he blocks Jushi Apprentice, and I draw two more extra cards here. Man, drawing two cards seems sweet, but I could just draw a card with this if I wanted. So I'm just going to attack with both of these, and he'll probably just trade off Venser. But if he does, I get in for four, and I draw a card, and that seems fine. I've still got Counterspell in hand, so his plan is very likely next turn to do the thing with the stuff and the guy, and then I'm just going to get him. All right, draw a card. Oh, yeah. Another island. All right, your move. Uh, fortunately, one mana short from untapping our monolith, but yeah, whatever. We're going to draw a million cards next turn. Probably just be able to slam Avenger. 
All right, you're buying that thing back. I'm snapping it off. Don't want that engine to get going. And he gets to kill Jace, but it is going to cost him three cards to do it. So Jace was going to draw him and me a card or just me a card, and now I get three cards? Yeah, I'll take that. I can live with that. And we get Ancestral as well. This is going to be a big turn for us. Hopefully we draw a Counterspell on a Forest. Uh, I will target myself. Thank you. Whoop. No forest, but we did hit the counter spell, so I guess we got that. Um, and we also hit an Aetherling. Um, I'm not going to play a land yet because we, we have attacks, and yeah, I'm just going to battle. Just going to deck ourselves here. Hell with it. Yep. There it is. Yep. And another one, too. All right. Now we're in business. All three green sources at once there. Um, so what can I do? I can play Ralzeric. Um, tap this thing, untap whatever. Like I can play Taiga, play Ralzeric. Actually, I have a R Mox Ruby anyway. Um, I can, so let's see, I play Ral, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I untap Grim Monolith for three mana, four, five, six, seven. I think that's right, right? One, two, th three, four for Ral. Untap Monolith. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. He, do he can have Damnation or something, but yeah, show it to me, buddy. I've got plenty of stuff in the backup. Although Remand would be nice to keep up here now that I think about it, but whatever. Uh, so tap that, untap that, go off. All right, so if he does have damnation, he must use it. Like, gotta use it. And if he doesn't, he loses. And uh, I like that. I like that a lot. We've got nice backup plan here, too, if he sweeps. We've got a treetop village to beat him down with. We've got Master of Wild Hunt, which you just need to answer on its own. We've got Aetherling, which is impossible to answer, and we'll still have Ral. Goyf is somehow a 6 7. <laughs> Artifact creature. There's a Planeswalker. Are we only missing an uh, enchantment? Wow, yeah. Let's get an enchantment in there. feel a little weird about not leaving Remand up, but I like playing this and this in the same turn and just making him just, like, answer everything that we do because he's got, yeah, he just has too much to handle there. Like, any one answer, like, he's like, okay, kill your Ral's Eric with whatever. Okay, that's fine. But then, like, it goes further than that. Um, Memory lapse do much. It feels like it would, but I have to think about it. Why would that be good? I mean, it's good against like his huge fatties because it's just like an it's, isn't it just time walks him. It's not great against reanimation spells unless they cost a lot. Naturalize, we didn't see anything. I think I'm just going to run it back here. Is there anything that's bad against him? Not really. All right. Didn't see any amazing targets for Wasteland, right? Like he didn't have something just dumb. Didn't have like a port or a Caracas or something that he could abuse in some way. Um, well, we're shipping this one back. And we're snapping this one. This one's nice. Um, 
We'll see what he does, but we're going to obviously suspend Ancestral here. Ship. And then we get to make a decision. Like, we can rent out Monolith, we can leave up Mana Leak, or we can play Goyf. Goyf, probably not worth it, but possibly. Like, there is definitely a world in which we just run Tarmogoyf out here. Um, because it's going to get big from Ancestral, well, bigger from Ancestral, and then if we Mana Leak like a creature, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to play it. And also, if he wants to counter this, like, sure. <laughs> I am... This is not the one that's, you know, super important to us. Um, also, this gives makes our swords better. Uh-oh, what do you got? He's going to cycle miscalc. Yeah, so he's just like, screw it. But he would have totally countered Grim Monolith. Like that, he would not have let that resolve. So hopefully he does nothing too impressive this turn. Um, this is a critical turn. He just made our Goyf a 2-3. Oh, that's not good. He's going to do something big here that we don't get to mana leak. Oh, Baleful Strix. That's really good. All right. You did it. And that means that we don't get to attack. But I do get to play Grim Monolith here. And uh, that's nice because I'm going to have mana leak going. Um, I'm not going to attack him. Yeah, you're fine. If we kill this, though, it makes our Goyf double. <laughs> it gives him two more bumps up the Goyf chain. So that's pretty sweet. Um, and it doesn't really do much as far as attacks go. Like, we don't really care that much, so that's fine. Uh, what is this, though? A disc. Yeah, I don't care about that really either, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty good, but, like, our, our threat's pretty well suited to play against it. Uh, that's a good one. That's actually really sweet here. Um... Yeah. All right. A little awkward here. Um, I might just want to crack the Black Lotus here. I don't know if that really makes a ton of sense, though. So the, the thing that happens is, is I go three, four, five, six, right, to cast Aetherling. I've got Black Lotus available to bounce Aetherling or to play Mana Leak. But if he does some weird timing where he tries to do two separate things, I can't really do that. Also, but if I sack my Black Lotus now, I don't have a Black Lotus anymore. And that's just kind of crappy. Like, I, I might want that mana for something. Like, that might be the red mana I need to cast Ralzeric or something like that. Um, he is not going to have a very big window. Yeah, I think I'll just risk it. He's unfortunately at 17 and not 16, which is a little bit lame for us because it would be a two-turn clock just straight up, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, this is coming off suspend. Next turn, thank God, because we're basically out of gas. We have zero. We have one card versus uh, six. <laughs> so this will remedy that situation nicely. Yeah, so he can get us here. Oh, duress us. Um, yeah, that's fine. One way he could get us is if he targets this, makes us crack this, um, and then cracks this. Still not a great spot for him, though. Ooh, that's not good. You're attacking? I mean, I'm going to hit you with this thing now. Unless you're just giving up. No way that's happening here, though. All right, you're going to do that. And then does he have anything? Can he have something here? He's just probably just going to make me sack my Lotus here. He did this dur during his uh, the end of his main phase, uh, which is really nice because otherwise my guy wouldn't have come back. Maybe he's got something else to play, though. That would explain why he'd do it on there. And yeah, he does. He's got a land he wants to play. Although he could have done that first. I 
Yeah, it looks like we're just getting away with one here. That's nice. It's basically an entire churn. Uh, cast target us and hope that resolves. That would be really annoying if he countered it. All right, he didn't. Um, so this hit does not have to be for anything spectacular. So let's just hit him. Um, play this, this, and this, I suppose. That might be greedy. I don't know if it matters. But there are definitely artifacts or things that I, I don't want him, don't want to see on his side. Um, but leaving myself with just one island here is maybe a little sketchy because I've only got two total, but yeah, we went for it. Um, it's just, it gives us lethal. Like, let's see, I can activate. That's three, four, five, six, seven. I need to draw a land and then I have, and then if I completely tap out, we have lethal, but probably won't do that anyway. Solemn Simu Lack Rum. Sure. I'm just going to ignore that. I'm not, I'm not going to blow it up with this unless he gives me a reason to. All right, that's a nice draw. Um, but it does mean that my village is not lethal anymore, so I have to wait an extra turn. That's fine. Attack, attack. Blocks. Um, so what do I need to do here? Five. Six. That's eight. Don't think I have. He is in black, so I should probably leave up treetop village activation. Um, and then Aetherling stuff. So I guess this is fine. That's eight. That takes him to five, and that's pretty easy to get in that last hit. Okay. No. Definitely don't want to let him draw a card here. Could have got him to three this turn. I don't really see what that gets us, though, so I'm not going to do it. Nighthawk. You made a Nighthawk. He's going to give me a chance to block so he can draw an out, and I'm not going to fall for it. Um, he can have a removal spell, though, to keep himself alive for a turn. Recurring Nightmare. Sack a creature, return... All oh, right. Um, and then you get something back. Uh, he can get a Strix to draw a card. He's going to need to find a Bounce spell because he only has these colors now. Uh, he can sack Solemn to get Strix. That's going to draw him two cards. He can hit, like, into the Royal or something to buy him a turn. Yeah, I mean, look, I can't blame the guy for for going for it here. It's not an amazing long-term game plan, um, just in the sense that he has to keep drawing stuff to make me bounce my Aetherling. That's really hard to do. But he's going to grind very hard here. He gets to just keep swapping these, getting lands, getting cards and stuff, but... All right, he's tapping mana, which is very good for us. Yeah, and so that should be game. Um, so yeah, we'll just make this guy unblockable. This can't be blocked. Uh, pump him once, and that should do her. Unless I'm missing something, which I don't think I am. All right, we got there. Round two upcoming. <laughs> 